Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping on me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today I'm doing an update on this 125. Um, in my last video, I asked a bunch of you for some ideas on what we should put inside this tank. But unfortunately, things has a funny way of working themselves out. So uh, we had this fish right here. Let me stand in the way. We had this fish right here and a 240 gallon. He is our old spotted African knife fish. But uh, I'll tell you about what's going on with this guy. So he injured his eye probably a couple weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer, actually probably like three or four weeks ago. It's been a while. Uh, I thought by me making sure my tank has stayed within the proper parameters and as well as making sure that I medicated the tank and you know just kept everything stable as possible. Um, I thought that the eye injury would heal itself um, with those things, those encouraging things. But um, that's not the case. It's, it's declined, it's gotten worse and worse, and I have never seen Popeye that look like this. Look like this. This guy, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> so, um, before I show him to you, it looks pretty bad, guys. Um, it looks really bad. Keep I've your negative comments tank. to yourself. I've had <laughs> keep the comments to yourself. <laughs> no, I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your feedback, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I thought it might have been a tumor because it's so big, but um, it's definitely not the water parameters over there. When you have a fish that has Popeye, usually if it's bad water conditions, it'd be both eyes. It'd be other fish affected by this. He's the only one, and he likes to stay inside of the rocks and crevices, and I'm, I'm quite sure between him darting back into his little space or fighting with the doe by, because really, guys, he's a tank boss in 240. The doe by is terrified of him, so he comes out, he hit him, he goes back. So I'm thinking doing this, he might have scratched his eye, and it hasn't healed. So we moved him over here to this 125 quarantine tank, Luckily, it's a quarantine tank because now it's empty. So like I said, things work themselves out in funny ways. So um, we have him over here past three days. I've been medicating him with the Melifix. Um, the instructions say medicate him for seven days, then do a water change, and then continue with the medication if need be. So I've thrown some salt in here. I've thrown aquarium salt in here. Not the essence salt, I've thrown aquarium salt in here. If you guys think the essence salt is better, Drop that down in the comment section. Let me know. If you have any feedback, any ideas, any tips, drop them down in the comment section. I really want to know because I don't want to lose this guy. Um, we've already had issues. We've got over the bacterial and internal parasites and things that we had dealing with that tank. We got over that. Everybody is perfectly fine. Now we have to deal with some Popeye. So I don't know if you guys have perfect systems. I'm pretty sure those are going to be the dislikes. I'm pretty sure those are the people that's going to get in the comments and say the negative things they want to say. But you know what? Anybody that's been in the fish hobby long enough, they know that these type of things happen. That's why they have medications for these type of things to make sure that when something happens, you have a way of treating it. So things happen. We deal with it. I want to be honest with you guys. I want your guys' support. I want your help. And I want to go and I want to go through this with you guys. So that way, you know we could learn together you know we could get through this together you know because like i said this is the worst case of popeye that i've ever seen um it may not be for you and it's definitely going to be for a whole bunch of other viewers so um let's take a look at this guy and um uh, we'll go from there so let's run this all right guys so this is our gold spotted african knife fish He's about 15 inches. I've had him over a year. Love this guy. He stays hiding most of the time. That's why if you've seen my 240 or even seen the 125 that he was in with the black background, um, you probably didn't see him or you might have caught him in a video or two if you actually watched the full video. But he's not making many appearances. But uh, this is him right here. And that's the Popeye. I can't really show you guys how big it is on camera. I'm trying to. But there we go. So yeah, it's it's pretty big. It's really bad. And uh, we're doing what we can to make sure that we heal it up and get him back inside of his 240. Because, you know, he basically went into a tank half that size. But um, yeah, 
I took the driftwood out just so I could show you guys um, this fish and um, just wanted, wanted to inform you guys on it. Moving forward, I will update you on his uh, on his health and his condition. And like I said, I'm using this Melafix. I know some people don't like it. They have different opinions on it. But you know what? I like API's Melafix. I also like API's Pimafix. For me, it has worked. I use different medications. I use Prazi Pro. I use Parasite Remedy. There's many medications that I will use. But I haven't seen any other medication that says specifically for Popeye. So please, if you know of a medication other than this Melafix that works for Popeye, that it works better than this, please let me know. I will make sure I have that ordered as soon as you tell me. But, um, you know, this wasn't a fun video, uh, but it was a video that needs to be done. Um, I try to be as straightforward with you guys as possible. I try to make sure that I'm not doing a lot of hiding and, you know, because that's not, that's not real in the hobby. You know what I mean? That's not gonna help you. That's not really giving back to the hobby. If I'm over here for putting on a certain image, and portraying certain things is not true, making it seem like all my tanks are great and healthy all the time and we don't go up, we don't have the ups and downs. That's 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 fake. You know, that's not real. You know, so we all have, you know, things that we deal with in the hobby. We have dirty tanks, we have tank, we have fish that get sick, we have fish that die. That's part of the hobby. You know, it's the it's, it's not the best part of the hobby, but it's part of the hobby. So um, like I said, just wanna make sure I share this stuff with you guys. And bring you guys along for the ride so um that about wraps up this video i hope uh i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something from it um not really enjoyed it in a sense of oh it was a great video you know it was really fun but more along the lines of you know enjoyed it like because you got the real aspect of fish keeping you got some real things that you learn from how Popeye can look with your with a fish, and um, and some tips and everything on how to medicate them and how to try to get them back on a good path. So uh, that's it. That about wraps it up. Follow me on Instagram at the Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page at Fish Corner, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell, and hit that like button for me one time. And um, as always, until next time, peace.